How you guys doing? David Lewis from the Dublin Academy of Education and today we're going to be looking at Junior Cert Strand 2, specifically trigonometry, which will be worth between 5 and 7% of your Junior Cert. It'll appear on paper too. A lot of students get a little bit, uh, a little bit, un uh, a lot of students get a little bit nervous when they see trigonometry and they say they don't like it, but we realistically have to learn very, very little. And on the board behind me, you will see everything that we need to know. First of all, we are only dealing with right angle triangles. If the triangle in question that we are talking about gives us two sides and we're looking for a third, it has to be Pythagoras. And that is in your formula and tables booklet. The only issue that students can sometimes have is not knowing what C is. C is always the side directly across from the right angle in that triangle. The next idea is if we are given an angle in the question, we use the Sokotoa idea, which we know is a password for finding sine, cos, and tan. And then you follow my four steps. You always label the triangle. You then decide which one of these we are using, and it's not really a decision, we kind of force them one way or the other. We fill in our numbers from the question, and we use our calculator to solve. The only two other ideas that may throw you is something to do with the angle of elevation and depression. Okay, so the angle of elevation is always an angle looking up, and students find that pretty easy to define. So if you're on this boat, the angle of elevation here would be this, and you could work away with your right angle triangle. The angle of depression, many students mistake it being here, because we're talking about being at the top of the cliff, but mathematically, that angle, let's just pretend in this case it was 20 degrees, is actually here. So what I always tell my students is just treat it as if it's elevation and put it in the same spot. And you can deal with this triangle and move on and it's completely fine. The last thing, trigonometric functions, which looks difficult, is just a simple case of plugging what you have into your calculator and pressing equals.